we want to use the ratio test to determine if the infinite series converges or diverges. To apply the ratio test, we have the summation of a sub n, and then we find the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n, which is equal to L, and if L is less than one, then the infinite series converges. If L is greater than one, then the infinite series diverges, and if L equals one, the test fails, we have to try a different test. The ratio test is often helpful when the series involves exponentials or factorials. So going back to our example, notice how our series involves both an exponential and a factorial, where a sub n would be equal to three raised to the power of n divided by n factorial, and therefore a sub n plus one would be equal to three raised to the power of n plus one divided by n plus one factorial. So now we'll find the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n. But instead of dividing by a sub n, we'll multiply by the reciprocal instead. So we'll have the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of, again, a sub n plus one, that's three raised to the power of n plus one divided by n plus one factorial. And then again, instead of dividing by a sub n, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n, which would be n factorial divided by three raised to the power of n. And now we want to simplify this product. Let's begin by looking at the base three. Notice in the denominator here we have n factors of three, in the numerator we have n plus one factors of three. So notice how we have one more factor of three in the numerator, which means three to the nth would simplify to one, and three to the power of n plus one would simplify to just one factor of three. Now let's take a look at the factorials. If you were to expand n plus one factorial, the first factor would be n plus one, the next factor would be one less, or n, and then we'd have n minus one, and so on. If we expand n factorial, the first factor is n, the next factor would be one less, which would be n minus one, and so on. Notice most of these factors would simplify to one. Here we have n over n, here we have n minus one over n minus one, and so on. So the remaining factors would simplify to one, leaving us with one factor of n plus one in the denominator. So our simplified limit would be the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of just three divided by n plus one. Well notice as n approaches infinity, the numerator stays at three, the denominator increases without bound, and therefore this limit equals zero. So because this limit is equal to zero, zero is less than one, and therefore the infinite series converges by the ratio test. So the second part asks us to determine the limit to determine if the series converges or diverges. We already know the limit is equal to zero, so we'll say by the ratio test, since the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n equals zero, which is less than one, the series converges. So again, this question asks us to find the simplified limit, which would be this limit here, which we know equals zero, and therefore by the ratio test, since the limit is less than one, the series converges. I hope you found this helpful.